Okay, so I am going to be retouching my hair. Garrett, my lovely husband, has uh, agreed to do the highlights for me. Again. He does them all the time, so every, anytime anybody's like, oh, uh, your hair looks great, did you do it yourself? I'm always very hesitant to say yes, because I didn't. He actually does the whole pulling my hair through. So this is two months worth of growth, and that's how much it's grown. Pretty significant, I must say. I've been very hesitant on doing this because I'm a little scared. This is a new kit. Um, I mean, it's not new, but it's new to me. So let me show kit. you. Um, it does come with a little spoolie brush, but uh, since I'm not going to use it, I kind of gave it to my son to play with. <laughs> so he's been playing with that. It's just the, the little highlighting something or other. I won't be using it, but... This is the kit, and I've never, ever used it before. The lady at Sally's said that a whole bunch of people do use it. Um, the only thing that I'm worried about is this is 40 volume developer. The Blonde Brilliance has been 30. They just upped it to 35. So, And a couple yeah. of things. So, one, <clears throat> this is your crochet needle. I'm not sure if you can see if I can put it against my black shirt. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's actually a lot smaller than the Blonde Brilliance kit. So it's actually kind of easier to use because I can get it e in easier and pull out smaller chunks of hair than the, like the bron Blonde Brilliance um, hook was like almost a crochet needle. It was so big. So when I'd go in, you'd pull out a huge chunk of hair. This one's actually a lot smaller. The only downside is because it's smaller, it's actually really sharp and pointy, so Courtney's scalp isn't a big fan of it, but I am. As, <laughs> as the stylist, I'm a huge fan of this. So that's about how it goes. And then we just get the knot, the little knots out, and continue my yeah. roots. And if you can see, I will do the roots up to the point that I stopped at last time. Um, and I'm going to do that all over the, my s everywhere that needs, that has the dark brown. So my entire head, I will just go through with that ash, that dark ash blonde and lighten up my roots a little bit so that it blends so that it's not as stark of a contrast as this. So that'll be a couple more days, but I will update when I couldn't do. tell <laughs> just by looking at it that my hair was that damaged. Um, and that's because I follow one thing every single time I bleach. I either do it before or I do it after. And normally, normally I do it before, but this time I ended up um, doing it after just to see if there was a huge difference. And there's a, there's a definitely a difference for me. Of, sorry, it's freezing here. There's definitely a difference for me whenever I'm bleaching my hair. It does seem to pull um, the blonde, maybe not faster, just a little bit better. Um, and then also depositing. It's called coconut because, oil. Um, where I was talking about doing my roots. This is the color that I picked up. Um, it might seem counterproductive to do color after highlights, but my highlights always end up so bright. And they're, to me, they always come off as yellow. Um, I don't have any brassy yellow anything. Um, this is in the sun. So you can kind of see just how it turns out. So this is the color. The last time that I did this, and I'll show a picture of the after, but the last time that I did this, I did a dark ash blonde and I didn't really like how um, dark gray that it came out. A lot of people will dye their hair or bleach their hair or whatever and then they end up with a color. Whatever that color is, they end up with a color and it's usually not the color that they want after, right after bleaching. It's just a color. Um, and they immediately are like, oh my gosh, I don't like it. I don't want to, I want to go straight back. They don't give it time to <laughs> wait they don't they don't do anything um patiently they just immediately freak out and go into almost like a survival mode like what do i need to do now what do i need to fix um and i think that's what a lot of people's downfall is if you're doing it at home you cannot 
be that like, oh my gosh, I need to fix it now. Because most of the time you're gonna end up ruining farther than what you did Shit. before. So I bleached my hair and you saw that um, my roots were significantly darker than the rest of my hair. Hair. So I put this on. Now, I use this as a toner. It might sound strange, but um, toners only last, for me, about a week. And that's not what I'm going for. I, mean, I don't want, um, I don't really want my hair to look only, look good for only a week because it's just, that's pointless. So I get a permanent color. It might sound strange, but I'm telling you that I've done this twice now and it's worked out perfectly and I will continue to do this but I might do it a little bit different next time um I put this on the roots and this time I put it all over because I wanted to do an all over lightning ash effect oh my to my I only left it on for about five to ten minutes because it I left it on for that long only because I wanted it to deposit enough of the color to lighten my roots so i did these first and um towards the five minute mark i applied it to the all over the rest of my hair because i wanted it to kind of ash out just a little bit not a lot just a little bit i only left that on for maybe maybe f three to four minutes maybe three to four minutes so yes it turned my hair a little bit silver silver at the bottom. Uh, I did not mind it because like I said patience is the key when you're doing at home anything. It's patience. One because permanent hair color will fade so quickly on blonde hair. It fades so fast especially bleached blonde hair because you've bleached out color. You've completely removed everything in in that blonde in that hair strand. You've completely removed all color especially if you're to a white blonde like I was. <laughs> so um, it's going to just immediately grab onto the base color of what you're doing. This is ash. Base color, more or less, is going to be a blue or a violet. One of the things to know though, if your hair does turn gray and it's like you do need to fix it somewhat immediately, um, get lemon, get like a couple of lemons and mix with your conditioner and put it all over the gray um, in your hair. Leave that on for about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how bad, how gray it is or how dull it is. And um, it will take out the gray, or it will remove some of it. It's not gonna completely take it out, but it will remove some of the gray and um, leave you at more of an ashy color, like kind of like this. It'll leave you more of an ashy color. If it turned green for a reason that Usually it would turn green if you were turning, if you were going more brown. Um, if it did turn green though, especially with chlorine and blondes, um, get ketchup. Ketchup will work. It, just put it on for 10, I think they said 20 to 30 minutes um, for ketchup. But just put it on where you're gray or you're green um, and it will take it completely out. Just wash your hair. If you're trying to fade hair color, uh, Dawn dish detergent works tremendously. Um, I did not need to do any of these steps because uh, I didn't. I knew. I just knew that my hair was going to fade really fast, so I wasn't too concerned with how um, gray that it was or how it wasn't even gray. It was silver. How silver it was, only because I knew it was going to fade. So um, patience for at home colors. It works. Just kind of light. It was kind of what I was looking for, and it was just damaged. So at that point, I turned to my coconut oil, and I mixed coconut oil on my extremely damaged yeah, end, the um, and then I took my deep conditioning conditioner, and I coated the rest of my hair on as well as the coconut oil, brushed it up, and put it in a bun right here on top of my head. And it was the tiniest ugliest little bun ever but um but that's kind of what you have to do <laughs> and i left it there all weekend long 
don't really know if I completely 100% recommend the kit that I used this time because it was 40 volume developer and I felt like that was a little bit too much especially since my hair pulls blonde really easy anyway. Um, it, it definitely did the job but it just did it a little bit harsher than I think the Blonde Brilliance kit has done. Otherwise I think that's about it and I will talk to y'all later.